Hello friends, welcome to Tech Greens. In the continuation to our series on Apache Hive interview questions, today we'll look at what is the difference between sort by, order by, cluster by, and distribute distribute by. These are some some of the terminologies and the clauses provided in the Apache Hive world. We'll look at what are the different functional aspect of all these clauses, how they are different, and what are the use cases they are meant for. So guys, let's start. So guys, order by is absolutely uh, similar how it is provided in the SQL world. Uh, even the syntax is same. Select a star from your source table name, order by, and the columns. Uh, the how it behaves in the SQL versus how it behaves in the Hive is uh, more or less the uh, same, uh, except for the fact that in the Hive we are talking about the distributed world and uh, order by clause in the high world provides the absolute or complete order of all the result sets. So whatever the result set you will get back post applying the order by uh, clause, you will get the complete ordering of all that of, of that entire data set which would be returned. Um, and how it happens is there is a final reducer uh, comes into the play when you use the order by clause which takes into the entire amount of uh, data set which is processed and finally uh, puts an order to all that data set and produces a completely ordered data set as a result output uh, this may uh, this this sometimes this may uh, return in some kind of performance penalty compared to the sort by. We'll, we'll look in the, in the next slide what does sort by means. But uh, to overcome this performance penalty, uh, there is a limitation of order by, or you can say there is a design constraint uh, which is kept on order by. And that is, if in case you are working in this strict mode, then you will have to use the limit clause whenever you are applying the order by. And the reason is simple because uh, eventually there would be one reducer putting in order to all the process data set. And if that data set becomes too much huge to be handled by a single reducer, it may take forever to return the query results. So that's why it forces you in a strict mode to use the limit clause. However, if, if your mode is non-strict, then it, it, uh, the syntax doesn't uh, force you to apply limit clause. However, it's a good practice to, to uh, go with the uh, order by clause with the along with the limit clause so that you can have some uh, uh, time check on your query results. So guys, uh, next is the sort by. Uh, sort by in terms of uh, syntax and uh, uh, behavior is, is also similar to the order by clause in the, in the SQL language, uh, except for the fact that in Hive, sort by uh, only sorts the data within one reducer. So sort by is, performs the ordering of the data set per reducer. That means there would not be any final, eventual big final reducer which will take all the data set and you know, put it into a complete order. Uh, so that is another reason uh, if in case there are more than one reducer uh, in, in the task which you uh, submitted using the sort by clause, it may happen that the final result set uh, may not be fully or completely ordered, it may be partially ordered because uh, ordering would be done per reducer. So if in case the number of reducer is one, then the behavior of sort by and order by would become absolutely same. The very important aspect about sort by uh, and which is like the, uh, the plus point of using sort by is it provides you the ordering based on the data type. So if in case your, your data type is integer, then it will provide you the numeric ordering, like one, then two, and three, and four. Uh, however, if your data type is a string and where care or where cats, then it will obviously do the lexicographic order. Uh, however, if you talk about order by clause, it only does lexicogra uh, lex le uh, lexicographical ordering. That means ordering, assuming that everything is a string. Mm, uh, let's quickly uh, look at what what are the uh, now let's quickly look at guys uh, what is cluster by um, and distribute by so cluster by and distribute by are, are mainly used with the transform of MapReduce scripts 
however it is sometimes useful to use them in the select queries you know where you are trying to do some kind of partitioning or say ordering of the data for subsequent queries or task so in that case uh, cluster by distribute by could be used along with the sql along with the select statements uh, primarily let's look at the distribute by first distribute by is meant to distribute the rows all the data which is coming out of the mapper now it needs to be distributed to to the to the reducer so that distribution is done by using distribute by clause and whatever the column value uh, whatever the column you will pass in the distribute by all the values all the all the values in that column all the similar values in that column will go to the same reducer so that's the whole concept of uh, distribute by so all the rows which will have the same value for that column will go to the same re same reducer however it doesn't guarantee any kind of ordering to be maintained to cover that point we can use sort by along with distribute by so that uh, if uh, a set of rows is distributed to uh, n number of reducers then if you use sort by along with it on the same column they will be sorted also or ordered on that particular column as well and then it would be passed to the reducers however the combination of both these things distribute by and sort by could be achieved using a single a clause which is cluster by so cluster by is a shortcut for distribute by and sort by so if you do a cluster by on a particular column c then uh, for all the similar values of c uh, all the rows uh, with the similar values will go to the same reducer in the ordered way in the ordered way so like i just try to understand it from this particular example suppose i distribute using the distributing by distribute by clause say on column x and if you see there were like five rows in this column x x1 x2 x4 x3 x1 now post distribute by what will happen the two reducers will be distributed on the basis of the values in all the column and all the values having the same value will go to the same reducer so in reducer one we have got x1 x1 x2 and reducer to obviously x3 and x4 whatever remaining say we had two number of reducers we're trying to uh, distribute the data in two reducers that's how it would be distributed using the distribute by clause however the important point to note here is that the whatever the data set received at receiver reducer one is not sorted if you see it here the data here is not sorted so it is got in the order x1 x2 x1 and the reason is distribute by doesn't provide any kind of ordering within the reducers as well so for that we'll have to use the sort by and the combination of distribute by and sort by is cluster by so instead of distribute by if I, if you use the cluster by on the same column now see in the reducer one you will get the same data set but it is ordered now on that particular column x if you see and obviously it's a combination of uh, distri uh, distribute by and sort by and sort by as we already discussed uh, performs the ordering based on the data type so here if you see data type is numeric so the numeric ordering is done three before then uh, three before four and by default ordering is obviously ascending and same is the case in the here so guys let's now uh, conclude uh, about the four terminologies that we have just discussed so order by is similar to the order by in the sql world provides complete ordering sort by provides ordering within reducers or per reducers we can say so eventually data set may be partially ordered but order by always guarantees the complete ordering um, however uh, there is no concept of one reducer in sort by which is the case with order by uh, sort by provides you the data type based ordering which is pretty handy in term for dealing with numerics and uh, uh, numerics and numbers uh, distribute by is meant to distribute the rows to the reducers 
uh, based on the particular column which you, which you have submitted as a cluster by clause and all the values with the same value of that column will go to the same reducers however with distribute by, distribute by clause ordering is is not done within the reducers also to uh, to do the both the task of distribute by and sort by we can use the clause cluster by is a shortcut for shortcut for distribute by and uh, sort by that means whenever the distribution will happen it will happen in the ordered manner to the different reducers so guys that's it in this particular video have a great day ahead and please subscribe to my channel bye bye